In the last video, we used app volumes to package the Notepad++ application. And we created a marker to tag that package as the current version we want to install. In this video, we'll assign that application package to an end user. We use the marker assignment type instead of the package name to make it easy to move to a new version later. Before moving on with this exercise, make sure you have already completed the exercise in our previous video called Creating an Application Package with App Volumes 4. To assign an application package with App Volumes, you'll need to log in to a virtual desktop. Therefore, you need to have a desktop pool of virtual desktops, use the restricted groups policy in the Active Directory in order to add users to the local remote desktop users group of the virtual desktops in the pool, and also have a Horizon client installed to access the desktop. For details, refer to the evaluation guide for app volumes. Once you're in the app volumes manager, go to the inventory applications tab and click the notepad application, then select assign. Here you search the active directory for entities, such as users, user groups, or even organizational units that say contain the user accounts for RDSH servers. You can assign any of those entities to an application. In our case, we'll search for a user group I've already created called Eval Guide Users. After you select that group from the listed entities and the marker for the assignment type, click Assign and confirm your action. Now, let's assign the application to an individual. While in the Applications Notepad++ page, click Assign. Search for the user's name in the Active Directory and select it from the results. Click Assign and confirm your action. At the bottom of the page, you'll see that the application package that has the current marker is going to be assigned. I'm on my client endpoint and I'll start the Horizon client. Double-click my connection server. Next, let's log in to the server. I have a whole bunch of desktops and applications here, but I'll be using this Windows desktop pool. Since I want to show you how this apps on demand feature works, I'll first go to the Add or Remove Programs app and verify that Notepad++ is not installed. Okay, it's not present. But in the Start menu, you can see a shortcut for the Notepad++ application. Selecting its shortcut, that's when the application gets delivered. See this little window on the bottom right of the screen? This means that the application package is being attached and soon Notepad++ starts up. Now, when you go back to the Add or Remove Programs app, Notepad++ does appear in the list of installed applications. For more app volumes and Horizon technical resources, be sure to visit techzone.com.